Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back with Horsehaven World Adventures and I'm joined by Kosetsu. Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the season pass horses and we're going to talk about the exclusive season pass. So this was a mega one-time purchase of the exclusive season pass to receive 12 gorgeous exclusive horses over the coming year. First up, exclusive porcelain coming in July. So this was something that you could purchase and then get the opportunity to get all of these 12 horses throughout the year. So here on the Facebook page we had this post where you had to spend over a certain amount in the month of June and then you would get the gift horse. Real quick before we get into all of the horses here, just as a reminder, the first four horses, Porcelain, Autumn, Vampire, and Winter, we did go over in the previous video. Go ahead and click that link up above if you want to see the full critiques of those. We will have the tier threes available for viewing in this video, just so we have all the horses in one video. Okay, so the first one up obviously is Porcelain tier three. This was released in July 2020. Next up is Autumn Tier 3. This was released in August 2020. Then we have Vampire Tier 3 that was released in September 2020. And finally, for the horses that we went over already, is Winter Tier 3, which was released in November 2020. So next up we have Comet. Now we are actually are going to talk about Comet again because we hadn't actually seen the Tier 2 or the Tier 3 of Comet quite yet. So I really like this horse. It recently came up in the Lucky Sprint event and I was gutted because I didn't land it, but I like, I think, all of the colors through the tiers of this. I love that it's sort of half see-through. Um, so this is a horse that I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get. Although I'm not as much of a fan of the one with the pink and the orange, but I love the other ones overall. Um, yeah, the, I'd have to say the tier three is my least favorite as well. Um, the tier 2 is probably going to be more of what I would like to see. The tier 1 was really good. We went over how beautiful that horse was in the previous video. It's just the other tiers, um, I thought that they could have done better with kind of like a comet theme uh, for the reindeer and I, I just don't understand the color themes for this horse that much. Yeah, I, I like the wintry feel of the first two but the last one just sort of hit off, sort of misses the mark a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Next up is Dragon. Dragon released in January 2021. Uh, I really, really, really like this horse. I really like dragons. They're great. I especially like the tier three of this horse. We kind of start off with a purple color and this is a really nice color. And then you kind of go into that green color and then finally we will go into like a brown um, gold color, which you'll see here on the screen eventually because they're kind of rotating through the colors here. But I really like kind of like the cloud effect on it on with the, like the hair and the tail, it looks really good. Um, the only thing that I would have liked to have seen on this horse is probably wings because dragons, not all dragons, but dragons typically have wings. Yeah, I think this as a horse in terms of concept and model, really 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 good i love the first two colors in the tiers i'm less of a fan of the third one because i don't really like yellow that much so on that one that's where it slightly loses me a little bit but overall i think it's a very strong horse even through all of the tiers even though i'm not as much of a fan of the the last color palette so next up we have mars this one was released in february 2021 I have to say that I kind of love the weird effect that they've got going. It's very like liquid metal going on with the mane and tail. Don't so much like the color palette with this horse though. The first two tiers aren't that great for me, but I really do actually quite like the tier three. I like what they did there, sort of like this almost liquid gold looking. I like the fact that you can sort of see the planets on it. I think that it is quite nice. 
Mars uh, was very exciting for me when I saw the picture of the tier three because, again, I really like those darker colored horses. Um, I really agree with the tier three. The tier three looks amazing. Uh, the tier one and the tier two are kind of lost on me, to be quite honest with you. Um, I kind of don't like the white that's leading into the main body part where you're seeing like the um, galaxy. I would have preferred that to come off and have had it more like the tier three where those colors are gone um, and just have the galaxy on the horse as it is. As is. Yeah, because I think that, that uh, white pattern kind of takes away from that galaxy effect. Yeah, I, I totally agree. All right, up next we have Moon. Moon was released March 2021. This horse is completely lost for me. Um, it looks like Rapunzel, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the tier two is my favorite by far. Um, it has a darker color palette on it, so I really like it. The tier three, just complete Rapunzel vibe from it. I don't like it. I think the tier three is slightly oversaturated because I kind of like it, but it's just a little bit too much. The first one, doesn't really feel very moon-like. Um, I think I get the same Rapunzel vibes, but I absolutely love the tier two. I think the tier two is really gorgeous. Yeah, the tier two should have been the tier three or the tier one. <laughs> I think it's just the mane on the tier three that's just slightly oversaturated and it kind of spoils the rest of it because the rest of it's very strong. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Then we had Future Nurse who came out in April 2021. I have to say, like, I don't really like this horse. It's very much Overwatch vibes is kind of what I get from it when I look at it. It reminds me of a lot of like the gear and the armor and I'm not that keen on it on the horse. I think out of all the three tiers, I do actually kind of like the first tier a little bit because of the color scheme. I think it kind of works. I'm not so much keen on the rest of them because I feel like it just seems a little bit strange. I don't know that I'm quite getting the concept that much with these. The tier one reminds me of Mercy from Overwatch, to be quite honest with you. Mm -hmm. I like the tier one. Yeah, I like the tier one. The other two tiers are atrocious. The tier three especially. While I like the darker body, the rest of it makes me think of McDonald's for some reason. <laughs> I think it's the second one for me that I'm not as keen on. Like, I don't like yellow. I like the rest of the horse, but I don't like the yellow armor robotic thing going on. I know that it's supposed to be a future nurse, but yeah, I think I think that's what ruins it for me. Yeah, it, I don't know, but this horse in general is not one that I really like. I probably would have never yeah. gotten this horse had it not been in the season pass. Up next we have Terrorless, which was May 2021. This horse, I'm not sure kind of what to think of it. <laughs> it's a lot going on on it. A lot. Um, the tier 1's alright, the tier 2 is very bad. I don't like the colors on it at all. And the tier 3 I actually do like. Um, I wish they would have done a little bit different coloring, but it it's better than the tier 1 and the tier 2. I think um, the tier one kind of reminds me more of the fish that it's actually based off, but um, I don't know. I almost feel like I kind of like the tier two a little bit more, I think, than some of the other ones on this one, even though it's got a lot of yellow going on. It's like an All we've got from this is I don't like yellow. <laughs> uh, the tier two is kind of like an orange, orangish yellow. There's probably just a little bit too much on it, to be quite honest with you. Because if you put any kind of tack on it, it's going to look really weird. So next up we have Pluto. This was released in June 2021. I think this horse is actually quite strong across all of the tiers. Um, probably the reddish one, the second uh, one, tier two, is probably my least favorite. But overall, they're all really, really, really nice and I like them. Um, I really like the tier 3 with the really dark green that's going on, but I also really like the tier 1 with the like really dark deep purple. 
So overall, I kind of like this horse. Um, I don't know whether I like the massive planet in the middle of it. I know that it's supposed to be Pluto, and I know a lot of the other horses have it, but it just feels more, I don't know, dominant on this horse than it is in some of the other ones. I think it has a lot to do with how they did the shading from the planet galaxy area onto the horse. Because like I said on um, Mars Tier 3, it kind of like faded into the horse where this one, there's like those clear cut lines where it goes from the horse's coat color into that galaxy. So I think if they would have done something similar to the Tier 3 Mars on these horses, it would have come across a lot better instead of these really clear cut lines on them where one thing goes into another. As far as the tier, the tiers go for me, I really do like the tier one. Actually, I kind of like them, them all. I don't really have any complaints on the colors that they chose for every single one of the tiers. The tack looks great no matter what tier horse it is because it was really well thought out this time. The tack just perfect. This horse was probably one of the better ones that we got in the season pass. What I also think is really interesting is actually the planet spins and changes on the horse, which I think is a really great detail that you probably wouldn't get if it wasn't so dominant. But unless you really sit and look at it, I don't think you'd notice it. Next up is Oriental Phoenix. This was released in August 2021. This horse is beautiful. Out of all of the season pass horses, this is probably my number one pick. Um, I don't like the tier two. The tier two is not as great as the tier one and the tier three. The tier three is phenomenal. They did an amazing job with the colors on this. It looks fantastic. I mean, I think this is probably one of the best designs of all of the season pass horses. Um, I think the tier one has the strongest colors. I think the tier two, I think the reason the tier two kind of flails a little bit is because you're expecting with the Phoenix, I think, to be very colorful and it's very muted in its color tones. And I think it just sort of looks like it's a slightly less saturated version of like the tier one. Um, and I think it's kind of falling a little bit for that reason. Um, I think the tier three is really nice as well. It's not my favorite color scheme out of all the horses that we've looked at over the course of all of them, but I do think that as a whole, these are really strong horses and they're really good design. So last up we have Aurora. This obviously is the gift horse that we mentioned earlier with the Facebook post. We have talked about this one before, but we hadn't seen the later tiers of this. So this was released back in September, 2020. It's taken a while to actually get to see all the tiers of this. The first tier is hands down the strongest. It's gorgeous. I love it. I don't really have any complaints about it. I think it's beautiful. Um, the next tier, the tier two, that sort of muted, sort of purple. I'm not a massive fan of the mane and the tail. For some reason, it looks like when icing goes like that really weird gray color. That's the best thing I can com um, compare it to when you're trying to make icing purple and it goes gray. Um, and for anybody that doesn't make cakes, it's not making any sense. But basically, that's what the tier two reminds me of because of that. Um, and then the tier three is just watermelon. Like, that is what I get from that. And I think it just doesn't sit with the Aurora Borealis theme at all. I totally agree. The tier one is by far the best one out of this horse. The tier two, it kind of like you said, the muted colors, it start, it kind of falls flat, but it still kind of looks good. Um, yeah. The tier three, however, is a complete disaster. We already have a pink flying horse and I hated it. And that was Clover. I don't need another one. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the wings on, on the tier three. I, I actually quite like them, but the rest of it, not a fan. Yeah, it, it pretty much reminds you of a watermelon. <laughs> it really does. It's horrible. Um, overall, the horse design is great. I like the model, I like the horn, I like the wings, I like all of that. It's just the coloring on the tier 3 is horrible. So now I have some questions for Kusatsu about the season pass. So how many horses would you have actually bought if you didn't have the season pass? Very good question. Probably only two. And that is being generous. The season pass horses were not what I expected them to be. 
the only two that I would have 100% bought is Dragon and Oriental Phoenix. So do you think it was worth it? Absolutely not. <laughs> That's for my personal preference because some of these horses other people may have bought. So it cost me $100 and there was 13 horses. If you took 100 and divided it by 13, you would get $7.69 per horse. If you were gonna buy all these horses anyway, this saved you a lot of money. If you weren't and you're like me and you would have maybe only bought two or three, probably not worth it. Okay, so let us know down in the comments below if you bought the season pass and if you did, did you think it was worth it? But anyway, scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you said a lovely day and bye bye!